Hi everyone, Miss Carol here, and we are on week five of our Sunday School Google Classroom. This week's theme is forgiveness, and I'm going to be reading uh, from our Bible. Our scripture this week is Psalm 32, so I'm going to be reading Psalm 32 to all of you. So if you have your Bibles handy, and you can find Psalm 32, I will ask you to read along with me. So if you're ready, let's begin. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me, my strength was sapped, as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful pray to you while you may be found. Surely the rising of the mighty waters will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding but to be controlled by bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the one who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you righteous. Sing all you who are upright in heart. Wow, that was awesome. So we're talking about forgiveness today, aren't we? All righty, forgiveness. Have you ever been out to a restaurant with your family or maybe sitting at the lunch table at school when all of a sudden you realized that what the person sitting next to you was eating sure looked a lot more yummy than your dinner or your lunch. Maybe you said to your brother or sister, I'll trade you my broccoli for your chocolate cake. Well, unless your brother or sister really loves broccoli, there is probably no way they will trade their chocolate cake for your broccoli. It's completely unheard of, or maybe even unbelievable, that someone could love broccoli so much that they would want to trade their chocolate cake for it. It is unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> unbelievable. That's how we describe the way that Jesus loves you. And you know what? When he died on the cross... What he did for you was kind of like trading his chocolate cake for your broccoli. You see, on the cross, Jesus traded his very own life, everything he had to give for your sin. I think you'd agree that sin is pretty yucky. And maybe you'd also agree that broccoli is pretty yucky too. But Jesus' love for you, his very own life, definitely not yucky. So Jesus traded a really awesome, not yucky thing for your really horrible, very yucky thing. Jesus gave his life in trade for your sin. That's what we call forgiveness. Think about forgiveness this way. Trading something bad for something good. Imagine if you had a very best friend who always played with you and always wanted to hang out with you. Now, what if that same best friend all of a sudden stopped playing with you? What if that friend suddenly decided to be a, a best friend with I don't know someone else for no reason. 
that would probably be very hurtful, wouldn't it? But, but now suppose that this same friend comes to you a little later and says, I'm sorry, what I did was wrong. I know I hurt you and I'm very sorry. Can you please be best friends with me again? If you can understand your friend and see that what they really were were sorry, you'd probably agree to be best friends again. What you've just done is called offering forgiveness. As a matter of fact, what you have just done is traded something really great. You, your love, and your friendship for something really not great. Your friend turning their back on you. Jesus did the very same thing for you. Jesus has always wanted to be your very best friend. God has always loved you because you are his child. But when we choose to not listen to God and do the things God tells us not to do, we hurt God's feelings. But when we realize we've done wrong and we say we're sorry, God forgives us. One last thing about forgiveness. It wouldn't make any sense for someone to scream out, help me, if they weren't in danger, right? In the same way, it doesn't make any sense to say, I'm sorry to God, unless you are truly very sorry for your sin. Every one of us must accept this bad news. We are all sinners. We all do bad things, but once we have accepted that bad news, we can finally accept the good news. God forgives us. Jesus died for us, and we are forgiven. We're forgiven, everyone. Well, you know, we're in Lenten season now, right? We're in Lent, and in a few weeks, uh, we're going to have Good Friday, and Easter, and it's such a wonderful season to be in the Easter season. So boys and girls, I hope you remember that on Good Friday, that's exactly what Jesus did. He gave his life for all of us, for all to have all our sins forgiven. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be reading uh, Easter stories from different books that I have, and I'd like you to take time to, to listen to those stories as we approach Easter, which um, will be what day? Do you, do you Can you remember what day it's going to be? Good Friday is obviously a Friday. Do you know what the date is? April 2nd. And then Easter is just a couple days after Good Friday, and it will be Sunday, April 4th. And if you remember what Easter is, what does God, what happens with Jesus? <gasps> yes, he, he, arise, he arises from the dead. How wonderful is that? It's just a wonderful holiday. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today on forgiveness. And you might be willing to forgive someone during the week as well. Remember, it's always worth it to forgive someone. If they're truly sorry and they've hurt your feelings, always forgive them because God always forgives you. So until the next lesson, as I always say to you, blessings to you all. Bye-bye.